Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I am so excited about today's video. I was finally able to find the new Wet n Wild Blooming Collection. When I first saw it on Trend Mood, you guys, I got so excited. I love Wet n Wild and I thought that the whole collection was just so pretty. I love the cherry blossoms and the color story, which is really, really pretty for the springtime. What the post said was that it is currently available at Five Below and then it will be available at Walmart and on the Wet n Wild website later on. I first tried the Five Below that's near us and they didn't have it. But yesterday I was out doing my Uber rides. As you guys know, I am an Uber driver and one of my rides just happened to drop off near a Five Below that I had never been in. I've seen it before, but I just have never had time to go in. So I went offline went inside to check it out and they had the full collection. I was very, very excited. I got everything except the lip gloss because I knew that, you know, I'm not a lip gloss person. I knew that I wouldn't use it and my daughter has 10,000 lip glosses and balms and lip products now. She does not need any more. I grabbed the eyeshadow palette. I got the blush, the makeup sponge, and I also got the setting spray. Now this, this is the one purchase that I'm currently questioning. I have oily skin and as you can see, there's like some luminescence kind of floating around in there. So I'm pretty sure this is going to be like a luminescent glowing setting spray. It doesn't say, it just says setting spray. So you shake it up you can see all of it just kind of floating around in there. So I'm hoping that this is not like super oily or anything like that. If it doesn't work for my face, then I can always just use it as like a body spray. I'm going to spray it. I want to see what it smells like, if it has like a fragrance to it or not. Oh, it has a very, very light peach Sakura Blossom fragrance. Ooh. Yeah, if that doesn't work as a setting spray, I can always use this as a body mist. So one way or another, it will get used. All right, so let's do a quick price breakdown real quick. I'm going to throw up some pictures here with some close-ups of each product that I took. And then we'll talk about how much each product costs, just so you can have an idea of what to expect should you find the products either in Five Below or later on at Walmart or the website. The first thing we have is the Blooming Flower Blush. The shade is in Flower Power. This was $4. I also picked up one of the finishing powders, the Bare Focus Clarifying Finishing Powder. The shade that I got is in Light Medium. This was $3. The Blooming Eyeshadow Palette, that was $5. The Blooming Face Mist was also $5. And the Blooming Makeup Sponge, was four dollars. So as you can see everything is pretty reasonably priced. It's one thing that I love about Wet n Wild. They are my favorite drugstore brand. Very inexpensive pricing with really good quality. The first thing that I'm going to do is to throw on some of my e.l.f. Power Grip Primer. I have really been enjoying this lately. All I have is that Wet n Wild matte primer. I really wanted to throw this on. This one just has been giving me a really really smooth soft looking base. It's held my foundation on like all day and I've tried it with different brands of foundation and it seems to be working pretty much the same with all of them. Really really enjoying it. I'm going to throw on my Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation with the sponge. My favorite sponge is the e.l.f. Total Face Sponge, but I saw this one and I just had to get it. It has those little flower petals on it. I don't want to use it, but I really want to give it a try. I've never used a wet and wild sponge before, so I'm going to take this, run into the bathroom, wet it real quick, and then we will come back and we will give it a try with my favorite wet and wild foundation. All right, so the sponge has nearly doubled in size. I'm going to go ahead and apply some of my Photo Focus foundation. You can see the like little uh, petals in there, like pretty good. They may not be showing up on camera, but they've like grown in size too along with the sponge. I'm just going to go ahead and apply some of this to my face, cover up that red spot on my nose. I'm just going to start bouncing. This is super, super soft and fluffy. It seems to be applying that foundation very well, bouncing all over the skin, blending everything in. It is soaking up some of the product, but pretty much all of my sponges do that. I have yet to try a sponge that doesn't, but it is very, very soft and fluffy, and it is giving me really, really nice application. I'm going to throw on my e.l.f. Hydrating Camo Concealer, set everything down with the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Loose Banana Setting Powder, and then we'll come back and we'll apply a little bit of this Bare Focus Clear finishing powder. I'm probably just going to put that like in my t-zone, maybe around my nose. I like to see how it works underneath my eyes though. We'll give that a try in just a minute. 
So the shade that I picked up in the Bare and Focus Clarifying Finishing Powder, it says it has ve vegan collagen, tea tree, and vitamin E. I picked it up in light, medium. I thought that would be a good little shade match for me as far as brightening. There were four shades, light, medium, fair light, medium, deep, and then there was also a translucent. But like I said, I thought the yellow and this one might be good for like brightening. It's not the best finish under my eyes. This is my first time trying it. No fragrance. Actually, it smells like there's a slight, almost Noxzema-ish fragrance. If you guys remember like old school uh, CoverGirl, it's almost what it smells like. It does have like a mattifying effect to it. Let's see how it does throughout the day. Like I said, it's not the best finish underneath my eyes, but you know, I like trying something new. I'm going to fill in my brows real quick using my Brow Sets of Pencil. This is also from Wet n Wild. I figure if I'm trying a new Wet n Wild collection, I might as well pull out some of my favorite Wet n Wild products. And this is a pretty decent pencil. It's in dark brown. I'm just going to go ahead and fill everything in and then we will come back and give the rest of these products a try. If you're new to my channel and not already subscribed, I would love it if you would consider hitting subscribe and join my little family and make sure you tap the notification bell down below so you get notified each and every time. And also be sure to follow me on my other socials. I am on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, and Twitter. All right, let's go ahead and throw on this blush. Once again, it is in Flower Power. It's a very pretty soft petal Sakura Pink. I love Cherry Blossoms, I love Sakura Blossoms. Just that theming alone with this collection, that was enough for me to go ahead and grab it. If it has Sakura Blossoms, if it has Cherry Blossoms on them, you better believe we're, we're gonna be snatching it up. And this is really pretty. In the palette or in the pan, it looks like it's more matte, but on, there's definitely a glow. Oh, that's pretty. Yeah, this is going to be gorgeous and stunning in the springtime just that beautiful healthy glowy pink okay i'm i'm loving that that is really really pretty i'm gonna highlight using this little illuminating face palette that i picked up i used this in my full face of wet well that i did like i think in december of last year and use this little petal pink right here if there's one thing that wet wild does really really well it is their highlighters their formula is just so smooth and it's so inexpensive i mean i think this palette was like four dollars so it's basically like a dollar a shade it just always looks so smooth i mean look at that so glossy yeah it doesn't look like all textury it's so pretty and i think it goes really i think this pink shade goes really well with this collection all right so let's go ahead and give this setting spray a try it did dry down pretty matte on my hand where i sprayed it it's not sticky or wet or anything so let's see whoa -hoo 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 -hoo. wow yes that is quite an intense sprayer Woo! wow yeah that that came out like like a waterfall on my face. I'll let this dry down and then we're gonna see if I have like any kind of a glow or anything to my skin or if it, if it set down with the more of a matte or satin matte finish. So the spray set down really well actually. There's not like a super glowy finish to my face. It actually has, it's not super matte but you can tell that everything is set down so it's nice to know that that glowy iridescence that we're seeing in the bottle doesn't translate to the face. That's nice to know. It actually looks pretty good all right so let's dive into the eyeshadow palette i have already primed my eyelids with my mashani milani eyeshadow base you guys know how much i love that so what we have here is a very very simple palette this is not revolutionary it's not going to take very long to put together an eye look we have basically a very blushy pink here that's similar to the shade in the blush this other matte here a shimmer that looks like it has kind of a pink shifting iridescence and i think this is a press glitter yeah that's a press glitter it's pretty but as you guys know i'm not really a pressed glitter person we may or may not use that shade we'll see but let's go on ahead and dive into these mattes there are no shade names so we're going to go into this light taupey peach and we're just going to use that to just kind of set down our base it's an all over shade very very simple nice 
little peachy pink there. What is this? This is a, I don't even know what kind of brush this is. I think I got this out of BoxyCharm, I think. Right now we're going to go in to the blushy mauve pink and we're just going to lay that on the inner corner and in the crease. Like I said, this is not going to take very long. It's just slightly deeper than that first shade. Just enough to add a little bit of depth to the outer corner in that crease area. This is definitely just a very soft, subtle palette. This is going to be really beautiful in the springtime and you just want to kind of throw something together really quick and you don't want to, you know, worry about doing a really fussy look. I'm going to take a little bit of that mauve shade and just slowly blend it out on the lower lash line. So a little something there. So I'm going to lay down this shade first and then I might possibly go over it a little bit with that press glitter. I'm not a press glitter person, but we'll see. All right, I'm not particularly wowed by this particular shade. It looks very like iridescent in the palette, but on I'm not really seeing much. I'm going to take my brush and spray it a little bit. It also feels kind of hard pan and gritty. I don't know. Let me try wetting that with some of the setting spray and just kind of seeing what kind of an effect we get. All right, we're getting a little bit more, a little bit more impact, a little bit more impact, a little bit more shine there. Still not great. That kind of iridescent green to pink shift that I'm seeing in this pan on, and palette, I'm not really seeing on the eye. Yeah, this is not wowing me. Wow. Yeah, that... <laughs> That was not a wow. This looks amazing. Well, that was a wow. What is going on with the shade? Wow. All right, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to take my finger and I'm going to go into this press glitter that I don't usually like and I'm just going to press that. I want to see what effect we get. Oh, wow. That is kind of a disco glittery effect going on. Wow. All righty. All right, well, this look is definitely some... Thing. Oh, I don't know what I think about this palette. I'm going to go ahead and line my eyes real quick using this Aurora liner. I got this of a Boxytron. The shade is in Espresso. I want it more of a soft, kind of a dark brown as opposed to a jet matte black. I'm going to go off camera, throw on some lashes, and then we will come back and finish off with lips and then do our final thoughts on this entire collection. My lashes are from Ioni. These are the Wispy Natural Lights 3D Mink Lashes. I get these from the Dollar Tree. I just wanted something kind of soft and light, not too like super big. I'm gonna line my lips real quick with this NK Pencil in red. I'm gonna try to give this Cloud Pout in Candy Wasted a try. It's a pretty bright pink. I might have to mix it with Marsh to my Mellow. Let's give this one a try. I love the way these smell. They really smell like marshmallow sugar cookies. The formula is really, really nice. Okay, that's not horrible. It's a nice kind of a fuchsia pink. All right, that is not awful. I actually like that, but I am going to go on ahead and mix just a little bit of the shade in here. Just to kind of tone it down. Super hot pink is not really what I'm going for. All right, mixing the two shades together gave me more of a soft, more muted mauve pink and not so super hot pink. But let's go ahead and do final thoughts on this collection. First of all, the blush. I really loved this blush. I thought this was so pretty. It just gives me this very soft, iridescent glow. This is beautiful. I also tried this Bare Focus Clarifying Finishing Powder. It did blur a little bit in my pore area, and the longer it's been sitting on, my under eye area does look a little bit better. It's just one of those products I'm going to have to play around with. The setting spray really surprised me. All that little glow kind of floating in there, I was worried that I was going to be like an oily, shiny finish to my face, but it actually dried down pretty matte. Not like super dry, and I do have like a slight, slight glow, but very, very barely there looks the finish is like really really pretty the sponge was nice too my elf total face sponge still my favorite one that's the one that i will still go to the most but this sponge was not bad it is soft it is fluffy it is bouncing i'll definitely give this one a try again the only thing that i would say was a fail was the eyeshadow palette the mattes were pretty, but this shimmer right here, it's just so gritty feeling. Like, it feels like it's like hard panned already. 
like I said, it feels very gritty. You're not really getting any kind of, you know, payoff or anything. Even wetting my brush, I still got barely anything on my eyelid. And I am so not happy with this pressed glitter here. I mean, this feels like kids makeup. This formula right here, it feels like something that would be in a palette that I would have got at Claire's. I'm just, I'm not happy with that at all. Rather than putting in the pressed glitter, I wish there was like a deeper shade, maybe a deeper pink, uh, pinky peach or mauvey pink, something that we could have added a little bit more depth to this look. Just overall, I was not happy with this palette. All right, guys, so that is the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I love when I can bring, you know, budget-friendly makeup ideas to you guys. And What Wild is a really good brand, except for this little palette right here that was a little disappointing. Once again, if you're new to my channel and you are not already subscribed, be sure to hit subscribe. I would love it if you would join my family. Tap the notification bell, follow me on my other socials. Be safe, Take care of yourself, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.